Section 3. The Way Out of Undesirable Conditions Having seen and realised that evil is but a passing shadow thrown by the intercepting self across the transcendent form of the eternal good, and that the world is a mirror in which each sees a reflection of himself, we now ascend, by firm and easy steps, to that plane of perception whereon is seen and realised the vision of the law. With this realisation comes the knowledge that everything is included in the ceaseless interaction of cause and effect, and that nothing can possibly be divorced from law. From the most trivial thought, word or act of man, up to the groupings of the celestial bodies, law reigns supreme. No arbitrary condition can, even for one moment, exist, for such a condition would be a denial and an annihilation of law. Every condition of life is, therefore, bound up in an orderly and harmonious sequence, and the secret and cause of every condition is contained within itself. The law, whatsoever a man sows, that shall he also reap, is inscribed in flaming letters upon the portal of eternity, and none can deny it, none can cheat it, none can escape it. He who puts his hand in the fire must suffer the burning until such time as it has worked itself out, and neither curses nor prayers can avail to alter it. And precisely the same law governs the realm of mind. Hatred, anger, jealousy, envy, lust, covetousness, all these are fires which burn, and whoever even so much as touches them must suffer the torments of burning. All these conditions of mind are rightly called evil, for they are the efforts of the soul to subvert, in its ignorance, the law, and they, therefore, lead to chaos and confusion within, and are, sooner or later, actualized in the outward circumstances as disease, failure and misfortune, coupled with grief, pain and despair. Whereas love, gentleness, goodwill, purity, are cooling airs which breathe peace upon the soul that woos them, and, being in harmony with the eternal law, they become actualized in the form of health, peaceful surroundings, and undeviating success and good fortune.